Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie No Sleep and I've been playing Witch's Castle for a while and let me tell you, I have some thoughts. Interesting thoughts. But before we get into the juicy rantiness, let's unpack the good that it's in this game. Let's let, let's talk about the good things for starters. First, the art direction. <laughs> I honestly believe that this game style is the best of the series so far i really love how they handled the art style of this game it is v very nice i don't know really i don't really know how to explain it it's like 12 a.m right now but uh, but this game's aesthetic really good i also love the character designs of the newest characters amazing love it especially first cream that, that legendary girl, yeah, that one. She, like, I love her hair because it generally looks like whipped cream, you know, being popped out of the can. Great design. Another thing I really like about this game is the reintroduction of Ginger Bright and Dozer. Okay, so initially, when, you know, when I normally see Ginger Bright in Oven Break, I didn't really think that much of her. All I thought of her was, ah, she's just the girl in the gang. But here... They changed her personality a bit, and honestly, it's for the better. I love the fact that she is a joyful, unhinged creature. Like, she is she is very cheerful to a concerning degree. And I love that. And Dozer. Dozer is a sweetheart. Dozer is a sleepy baby. And I'm so glad they brought him back to the series. I love that he's small and he and ginger brave already have like a brother sibling dynamic that's amazing i love that the only thing i don't like is that um they're not related you know they 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 met as strangers they became friends but they're not like blood related that's the only thing i don't like i i really wish they kept the fact that they were brothers but other than that love them love the new characters love the design and love the reintroduction of um Ginger Breed and Dozer. I can't say much about the other characters because I haven't made it that far low wise and I haven't watched Royal Mike's newest uploads of the lore, so yeah. Unfortunately though, the good things end there. Yeah, that is all the praise I could give to this game because everything else. Ooh, stinky, stinky. Let us start with the level design. Now, you know, when you start the game, it's, the game, you know, is really easy. You can essentially fly through the levels. But when you get past level 60 and up, things get a lot harder. So let me, let me, let me tell you how the levels here work. So the levels essentially, you know, um, the, the more you progress to the levels, the more obstacles you're introduced to. And then you have to, like, uh, learn how to maneuver through them. Because, well, you know... Nothing bad with that, you know, every puzzle game has that. The problem is the implementation of these things. See, um, when you enter a new level, all the blocks are randomly placed. And when you get to, like, um, the later levels, you get to a point where you're very scarce in resources. In this game, everything is against you. The only way... You can like a hundred percent do a level is if the cards are in your favor because as much bonuses and like cookie powers you got you gotta be really lucky to actually pass the level you see this level in the background i'm playing yeah this is level 89 this is a level that took me a long time no matter how many um how, how many like um um special boosters and that stuff I use. The only way I actually managed to pass that was by pure sheer luck. I said that wrongly. By pure sheer luck. Due to these levels being so heavily based on luck, regardless of your resources, just makes passing the game very tedious. And it, especially uh -huh. with the fact that some of these um, um, obstacles are just tedious as hell as you can see on screen this is level 90 this is the one of the worst levels in the game and it gets worse from there this shit took me 
two hours to pass absolutely terrible to end this segment here what i'm trying to say is even though the gameplay is like simple the level design just makes it very hard to pass levels and this is um and, and this is crucial to the game because in order to progress the game you need to like uh you know pass levels in order to get little stars that can help progress the story but because the levels are so luck based they take for Ever and no one wants to take forever on a level dude. Oh, yeah Also to add insult to injury the boosters that you like get in the game slash uh, Make in the level that are supposed to help you also don't play in your favor because One you see the boosters on like the left side of the screen. Those are very limited and hard to get so you have to like be like really like I don't know what what's the word calculator you have to be really sure if you want to use um those uh boosters because those are hard to get and the boosters you get in, in game being the the rocket the bomb and the and the, the the jelly bear those can sometimes go against you actually I have beef with them you see this rocket guy you see this rocket motherfucker I hate him I hate this booster with with it, it is the bane of my existence the reason why I hate this booster so much is that this booster can go two ways vertically or horizontally and here's the problem there is no guaranteed way on getting the angle you get as far as I know the game didn't tell me how to get the angle I want but point is I may be like one move away, like no, two moves away from like getting, you know, from, from winning the level. And all I need is to make a rocket that will go to the direction to the thing I need to destroy. And when I, when I press the thing to do it, it appears in the other direction. It just screws me over. This little shit has screwed me over so much. I want to take it to the back alley and beat the fuck out of it. Then we have the jelly bear. This two... Faced bitch. Listen, listen. The only good combination with this jelly bear is, you know, jelly bear x jelly bear. If you combine this jelly bear with any other power up, it has the chance to like uh, scatter the, the 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 power ups everywhere, everywhere except to where you need it. You have no idea how many how many times this little guy has inconvenienced me. I hate him. I hate him with my life. And then there's the bomb. Oh, <laughs> the bomb. I actually have nothing against the bomb. Honestly, this is literally the only power up that does its job right. This is literally the only power up that carries the game. It is the only one that knows how to do its job right. To give a random applause for bomb here. A common bomb win. Common bomb win. All right, all right. Enough booster ranting, let me get to like the other part of the game which I really dislike. And that is the decorations. Specifically the ones that generate stuff for you. So, the, so when you like, you know, progress the level and whatever, when you buy a package, you get some decorations that can generate some things for you. Cool! Awesome! Here's the problem. They can only generate things for like a limited amount. I'm not joking. They can only generate things for a limited amount, and that is the most stupidest implementation ever. Like, wh why? D d these, d this, this thing, the re their, their generation being limited, is such a stupid thing. And it's also the reason why on late game you have such scarce resources. Because late game, they eventually just stop producing for you, and you're just left with no choice but to waste money for a chance to win. Not a guaranteed win, a chance! But honestly, the worst contender of this game is the gacha. This gacha is the worst gacha I've ever seen in my life. It is literally two gachas packed in one. Like, wh how? H who thought that making two gachas was a good idea? Essentially, how this gacha works is that like you roll the dice and you get a probability of one of these 
four prizes, which I, I don't remember about. I only remember the cookie one. But you get like a probability of getting these four prizes. And when you get one of the four prizes, you get to go to another gotcha. That's right. A uh, wheel spins, and then you get and you're at the mercy, and you have to pray that the little the little the little pin thing lands at the thing you want. It's literally two gotchas in one. A gambling addict's nightmare. Who thought this was okay? And what makes it worse is that when you finally like get the chance to have a cookie, you might not even get a cookie at all because you could. There's there's two things that happen when you get uh, you know the chance to have a cookie, and it is you know getting a cookie or getting a soul drop, the equivalent to soul cores in this game. And it is... Who thought that was a good idea? Imagining gathering all those resources, getting any... All that you don't want, and when you finally get a k the cookie win, you don't even get a cookie. That is just terrible game design. Like, genuine terrible game design. I am literally on level 93 with only three cookies, because it is that impossible. To get another cookie, it is that hard to actually get more than more than three cookies. Like literally, this whole gameplay has me has been me and Vampire Cookie against the world. But like, yeah, it's just terrible gotcha. To put it simply, this double gotcha mechanic is essentially punishing you for playing the game and actually grinding. Oh, and by the way, the the, the special cookie banners don't uh, don't help either. Oh. You, you, it's, it, it's the same thing, except you get a, a chance to get a cookie. But even so, the chance is slight, so... We all lose here. We all lose here. You pay, you lose. You're free to pay, you lose. Again, I think I've stated this before, but I will say it again. This game is literally pay to try. And that is terrible. In conclusion, I love this game's art style. I love... Uh, you know, I, I love the Kokuma franchise. I love this game's art style. I like its story, even though for some reason it has like a lot of cleaning, but whatever. I like the story, but like aesthetics and storytelling can only take you so far. If the gameplay is just atrocious, people may, uh, may, may just start uninstalling it. And that might be happening because you know those like leaderboards were, were like that's mostly dominated by, by Asians because they're that good at the game? one of like the tops there because that's how much that's how hard and that's how hard and tedious it is to like pass through this game i'm not supposed to be up there i'm a casual player if someone like me a a a, a single a single brained organism is someone like me in the leaderboards you know something's wrong. You know something is wrong. Or either that or I'm just good. But I doubt it. You, 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 all, saw, you, all, you all can see me how much I struggle in this game in the background. Just, just saying. That is, that is an indicator. That is an indicator that this game is just... This game gameplay is just not it. Overall, moral of the story. Aesthetics cannot carry you that far. They, this game needs an update to make it easier for players to traverse two levels. My suggestions... Is that to is is that one, the decorations that limit that generate items don't make it limited. That's stupid. Please don't do it. Like keeping keep, keeping their production constant will be better because I, because that way we'll have you know various resources and we'll be able to at least use those resources to you know get through the levels. My other advice is that you know in the cookie gacha. When we get a, when we get you know the prize we want instead of another gacha based on luck, uh. we get to choose what we want. But we can only choose one, and I think that's much more fair than just having another gacha within another gacha. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I really like this game, but it needs some major improvements if it wants to keep a good, consistent player base. And uh. Yeah, um, now enjoy a video of me struggling, <laughs> struggling to get a single cookie in the gacha. Enjoy! Alright everyone, before I end this video, I wanna do some life poll with you guys. I, I only literally have three cookies. I literally need more. 
Anyways, I've been grinding the game a lot. I've got a, I've gathered some some good resources, so let's see if we're lucky and actually have another cookie. I do not care the rarity. I just want another. Alright. Woo! Nothing! Nothing! Okay, come on. Bonus. Woo! Furniture! Something I literally do not need. Oh my god, grass, guys, we got fucking grass. Please. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, guys, it's furniture again. Aren't you excited for getting furniture? Wow. I love furniture. Wow, I love this shoe brush desk. Yay, cookie time. Are we gonna get a cookie? I do oh. <laughs> They're all drops. I want to Oh, God. I'm killing myself. This is literally the worst gotcha. Like, why would you take a cool concept like dice and just make it worse? How do you make a gotcha within a gotcha? Like... Why? Wow. A resident. Something that will not help me in the game whatsoever. Okay, at least it's a duck. At least that's cute, but still, I don't really care. Wow, one. Okay, got a chest. That should help. I don't know they can give you cookies. We're getting cookies. Too. Yay, soul drops. Useless. Oh, guys, do you guys miss furniture? I sure love furniture! Wow, gifts. Cool. Can't even choose the thing I want. Please, thanks for the... Thanks for the coins. Wow, guys! Uh, what the fuck? I don't have a thousand! What? I didn't know you could re-roll, but for a thousand? Bro, that's bullshit! Oh my god, this is bullshit, dude. Why? Oh my god. No, oh, dude. Screw you. Screw you, dude. Screw this gotcha. Wow, guys! More furniture! Did you guys miss furniture? I sure love furniture. It's so useful. Wow, guys, we got a claw! Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh my god! Wow, guys! More footage! Oh how do people get cookies? Like, ha oh my god, another one. Oh my god, okay. There's at least one chance to get a cookie. I'm killing myself. Wow, guys, a rodent! You guys, we get to have a visitor that doesn't do anything! Woo! Okay, at least this, that actually looks pretty cool. Still. The, my point still stands, dude. I sure do love a whole lot of nothing! Oh, give me a chest. Thank you. Max points. Yes, I guess. Thanks. Of course, I'm gonna choose the cookie. Wow! One soul drop! Amazing! Wow, I guess. More furniture, too! Wow. Wow, guys, that was great. Pokemon,